Hello everyone, this is Priyanka. Welcome to my channel Priyanka Saiji School. Today in this video, I will be covering how to prepare automation script in Selenium. So in the last session, we have discussed about the setup part. Today it is time to discuss how to start with the automation, how exactly we can set up the browser and how exactly we can launch any application and how we can test that particular application. So guys, in general, whenever we perform any testing in manual testing process, we have to follow a test case format, right? And within that, we'll be preparing our test cases. So somewhere we should have an ID, somewhere we should have a prerequisite, objective, test to be followed, right? Even data, expected, even actual result. And then we can maintain a status. So here, I have just prepared a simple scenario. Suppose we just want to validate a title of the Google application, which should be as a Google only. Then for this particular scenario, how exactly we guys are able to prepare automation script? That is what we are learning today. So basically my test case is very simple. I just want to validate title of a Google. So for this, we have to follow certain steps. First of all, prerequisite is what? Your browser must be open. Along with that, then we can start with the application. We will open an application within the same browser. Then we have to get the actual title of the current page. Then we have to compare actual title with the expected title. And finally, we have to print the appropriate result. And then we can close the browser. Let's see, this is what the manual steps we need to write. But now let's understand in automation, how we can automate these steps. So in the last session, I have discussed about Java project setup even Maven project setup. Now let me open Maven project again. We have already set up the dependency inside a Maven project. So the version I'm using 4.16.1. If you want, you can update a version with the latest availability, which is I think 4.17. You can update that. But now I will be keeping the same. I'm using the same dependency. And here under web test package, I have already prepared one test case that is just to launch a browser and just to open any application within that browser. Let's continue our first test case in the same package. So I'm creating a new class. This is for Google title validation. So let me just write, this is a Google title validation test. Now we need to start with the first step. That is we need to launch a browser along with application. So guys, very first, we need to create a driver session. That's the first step you need to follow every time. For that, I'm writing web driver driver. It is equal to new Chrome driver. Now the point is, what is web driver and what is Chrome driver? Web driver, it is an interface in Selenium. And technically in Java, for interface, we can't create any object, right? So for that reason, I'm using here child class which is available in Selenium, that is a Chrome driver. So basically, for every browser, we have a specific classes, class file available. So currently, I'm just creating interface object with the help of child class. So this is a scenario where we have written parent reference and the child object. Now, guys, let's import these interface and the classes from the official package of Selenium. So yes, you have to import these classes from the Selenium package. And this is our official package, org openqa.selenium. So let me import it. Once we import Chrome driver and the web driver, this statement will help you to open a browser. Now to get application or to open application. So let me write to open application. We have to use a command driver.get. In this get command, you can pass URL address and then you will able to see that application will open. One rule, whenever you are passing URL address, there should be a proper protocol must be defined. So here I'm writing HTTPS, then I'm writing a domain, that's a www.google.com, the proper URL you need to write. And then only you will see, now this statement, what will happen when we execute it? It will launch a replica of an original browser, and within that browser, you will able to see your application is open. So just observe. And here you can see the result. 
so this is how we are able to launch an application within a chrome browser and if you notice here we are getting certain warnings and that you can ignore okay for automation test now guys these warnings will not impact on your test case so do not worry about the warnings kindly ignore it now what is the next step to do how exactly we can get the application title to get current title generally you need to first understand which title we are trying to capture so guys if i can show you let's see here let me open a google page and here where you can see the title so it is available here right on the top but there is a one more way to check the title of application you can directly right click and you can do inspect where it will open a dome this is a html dome guys and inside dome this is a html structure for this web page where you can just open a head section and if you little bit scroll here you can find out title tag tag is a title and the title written by the developer that is a google so current page title it is a google only how exactly we can find out the actual title of this application for that we have to write a command driver dot get title and if you observe get title method this is one of the command you can just consider it is as a method so this method returns you string type of data and for that reason what i can do i can simple store this into variable so currently i'm having actual title of this application and let me print the same so this is actual title and i'm going to print with same variable which is act title at this moment if you execute a test case you will able to see the current title of this application which is google so let me show you with this step and see we found that application open and again same title got captured because of our command that is get title so get title is a method which will help you to capture a current title but guys main importance is what whenever you are preparing any automation script without validation that script will be not complete right so we need to understand now how we can perform validation for this title in general in java just for matching certain conditions we have conditional statements to be follow so we can directly prepare if if else statement where we can test the condition so currently my condition is i just want to check whether google application title it is matching with expected title which is google so for that reason we have actually captured the current title i am using same variable which is a actual title but for now how exactly we can put the condition actual title it is written or it is its written type is string guys whenever you are comparing any string whenever you want to perform any operation on string you have to follow string class methods because in java string is a class if you are working with primitive type there you can follow operators available in java so for now i am using just to test equality between string we have equals method so i am using here same method equals and here i'm passing my expected result which is a google so in this case if the title match with google i want to print one message so let me print here same message example title match and in that case i want to print test pass okay but suppose in case our title got not match in that case i'm expecting this message to be print title not match and then i will be writing test fail and this is how we can perform validation for our title in this case let's see what is the result definitely our expected actual both are same so for that reason you'll be getting pass result only and now you can observe currently i'm able to see title match and test pass but there is a one more step every time whenever you are executing your software application or whenever you are executing your automation script you guys are able to see that browser is always open and we have to close it manual correct but is there any steps to automate the same step okay how we can close the browser so yes it is possible in web driver we have a certain set of commands to close the current session of a window 
or current browser window, we have a close command to be followed. Again, guys, we can follow quit command. Quit will close all the open windows, all the open browsers, which is open by Selenium. So basically, just to close a browser, two commands, two methods you can follow. Either close, either quit. Internally, both are doing the same task. Both commands, both methods are used to close the browser only. But let's see how exactly we can close it practically. So to close the browser, either we can follow close command or you can follow quit command from Selenium. But the point is, somewhere it is noticed that whenever we are working with close, internally you are getting some Java exception. Sometimes it might occur, sometimes it might not occur, right? So do not confuse. If you are getting any warning from Java, just connection reset something you can kindly ignore that warning. So let me help you with the automation part. How exactly you can close the browser? You can use close command. If you are using close, it will close the current active window. So let's observe. So currently browser open, application open after completion. Automatically it got closed. But here you can notice. This is what the exception we are getting from Java. Okay, just observe. Let me show you again. So I'm getting now certain warning. It is related to connection reset and it is java.net socket exception. Sometimes it might occur, sometimes not. So you can kindly ignore it. Because if you observe, our automation test case executed successfully. So close is used to close the browser. Let me show you quit command to driver.quit. What is the purpose of quit? Here you can see the documentation too. Quit this driver, closing every associated window. So somewhere we have opened multiple window. And if you really want to close all window together, then you can simply follow quit command. So at the end, if you are writing your script with quit and close, you guys are simply closing the browser. So just have a look. At this moment, if I execute a script, what the output we are getting? Browser open, application open. After that, after validation, it will automatically quit, correct? And this is how we are able to see the result in the console. So guys, just to begin with the automation part, start writing automation script by considering or by understanding this kind of simple scenario first. Okay, so I hope this video helped you to understand about basic scripting in automation. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.